Now, the next person that's going to come up is going to be Yufang Zhang. He's a system engineer with Kihu 360, another giant in uh, China, and I'd love to hear what he's doing with OpenStack. So let's welcome him up. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Yifeng, a system engineer from Qihu 360. And it's a pleasure to talk about OpenStack at Qihu. Qihu is a top three internet company as measured by user base in China. And we are the number one provider of internet and mobile security products and services in China. And we provide the number two browsers and the number two search engine in China. But now we are searching 450 million users. So here are some of our products. And some of the products are our core security products that protect our users, computers, and mobile devices against any kind of malware and do system optimization when needed. And we have also browsers. And it's the number two browsers in China. And they provide user uh, secure and optimized access to the internet uh, at point. And we have also mobile assistant. It's a comprehensive and Android-based internet Apple store that enable users to install, manage their applications on their smartphone. And all the other services are web services that fully satisfy users' uh, accessment to their internet. So all these products and services are su supported by our cloud-based technology. So cool. But what does it mean to us, especially to our engineers? And here are some interesting numbers. For each day, there are 590 million clicks on the startup page each day. And there are 13 to 15 million files being identified on the cloud antivirus engine and 2 million PV on mobile assistant each day. So there are, there are many numbers to be listed here. And I think it is a great challenge for us, for our engineers to build uh, a great infrastructure to fully satisfy all this need, all this heavy load, and all these products to deliver great user experience. So what we need from our infrastructure? I think we need Agility. We need agility to quick, give quick response to our customers' requirement. And we need the scalability to make sure our customer to get high quality of services. And we also need el elasticity to make sure we have high resource management in the infrastructure. So OpenStack makes our life easier. And it gives us a chance to build infrastructure with Agility, scalability, and elasticity. And that's why we start our OpenStack journey. So here is where we are. We start our OpenStack journey since Q3 last year. And all of our <coughs> OpenStack are for some branch on, on the production system of our, uh, in our company. And we would backport patches from upstream when needed. And all the hosts are CentOS 5.4 and I was then as hypervisor. And by now, there are 4,000 instances around 20 data centers. And the, the instance serves tens of products, each of which have numerous users. By now, there are overall 40% of all instances managed by OpenStack in Chihu. And I think the number would get to 60% in the end of the year, I think. And as shown in this picture, Chihu's infrastructure have heavily relies on OpenStack, and many important and services and products are supported by OpenStack. For example, all web applications are hosting within instance managed by OpenStack. And we leverage Glance Replica to replicate images across all data centers so that we can make sure a new web services could be online within hours across all China. And online gaming is another story. OpenStack gave us a chance to ma manage resources and instances in a fine-grained manner. And as a security company, 
we have many instances, windows instances to be managed. And with OpenStack API, we could manage instances with automation. And we can do scale out instance or scale in on demand. And there are many examples, uh, use cases, such as infrastructure tools, Hadoop clans, automation building, and develop testing. And we are looking for the next user. And finally, thanks to its great documentation and great support from the community, a really small team could handle the daily job for OpenStack daily operation and troubleshooting. For now, we have only two full-time engineers, and we could uh, handle the work to build and manage OpenStack-based private cloud. And we, we get good and positive feedback from our users. So here's uh, our cloud antivirus engine. All the files are extracted from the support database and pushed into the task pool. And the instances are separated into several groups to dedicate, uh, to execute some type of dedicated jobs. And based on the information gathered from the monitor, we could, uh, the scheduler could scale out instance on demand. For each day, there are 13 to 15 million files being identified in this OpenStack-based cloud antivirus engine. So many of Chihu's software and are based build, build on open source software so that we can have control of our software and we can do customiz customization when needed. And with OpenStack, we have over control, control of our infrastructure, and we don't have to care about have weather or host login. And we can do customization when needed to satisfy our special requirement. So here are some customizations. And we <coughs> refactored the network model from layer 3 to layer 2 so that we could get high performance and get cost reduction. And we introduced a new table-based image that we could build instance or instance image more quickly. And we also add some QoS parameter into instance so that some important instance could get a bad base assurance. And we also implement uh, instance recycle bin on our customized dashboard so that some instance could be restored on circumstance they are deleted by mistake. And we also integrate authentication with Keystone so that everyone has a Chihu has a Chihu account that they can get into OpenStack. And we also do a lot of improvement in the dashboard. Also, we, will, we would encounter bug or feature request in our daily job, and we are happy to work on it. And with the help of, with the help of community, we have tens of patches being merged into upstream. And all, are for, all of our team members are contributors of OpenStack. So, where are we going? I think we are still on the early stage of an OpenStack deployment, and a lot of work to be done to make the OpenStack-based private cloud more effective and more stable. And we are looking forward to move Havana in from some, from some regions, and we need to add just storage support in our OpenStack cluster. And finally, Thank you, Owen, in community. Your, your great work makes our life easier and make all these great things happen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. All right. Wow. So one of the largest internet and security companies in China, running thousands of instances and 20 data centers of OpenStack. That is incredible, and I think that you know, when we hear from users who love the flexibility of OpenStack, but they're also contributing back, that is just amazing to me. And we think about some of that data I shared earlier where we see contributors and users, and foundation members. Those are not silos. These are active members of the community who are uh, all three, really. And uh, that's the best, best kind of users, the ones that are ready to get in there and help us make OpenStack better for everybody.